What should I go fishing with today? <laughs> what the? Whoa! Oh, wait. That's just the giant spider lure I bought. All right, what's up guys? So a few months ago, I was walking down Walmart's fishing section and I look down and I see this massive spider lure. And I just instantly thought to myself, oh my goodness, I need to make a video of this. So like three or four months later, I'm finally doing it and I bought it two days ago. Here it is, it's like this yellow looking one. It looks like those big ones you see are like garter spiders, gardener spiders. Or Something like that. The big ones you see out in the grass. I'm gonna open it up here. It's the first time I'm opening it. And this thing is like massive. It's like three inches long. Ugh. This thing just scares me just looking at it. All right, we gotta take it out of the packaging. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Ugh. All right, so the pond we're going to be fishing at is actually right down there. It's the pond way back in the middle of the woods. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it before in my other videos. But I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be top water, I'm guessing. I think it's going to work pretty good. It's pretty soft. The bass, when they bite, it should be able to squeeze it down and get hooked right away. So it should be no problem getting good hookup ratio to it. So we're going to go ahead and hook this thing up on the bait caster. We should be able to catch some bass, like, really fast. Because this is, like, the best pond I've ever fished at for bass. I'm pretty sure we're going to get hits on the first cast. It did rain a whole lot last night, so... I'm not sure if that's going to affect it. My guess, I'm thinking it's going to make it better fishing than normal, so we should be able to catch some good bass on this lure, hopefully. That's the plan. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh, fell in the water. All right, there it is right there. Swiveled on the swivel. Hope I don't get my crocs wet. I don't, I've seen one bluegill since I've been here, so the water's pretty murky, a lot murkier than usual. Let's go ahead and give it a first, first cast. And I got a backlash. Look at that. And it backlashed into the brush over there. Let's try this again. I did it again. I guess I should have brought my spinning reel today. Okay, whatever. I have to get in the water to be able to cast. Get my socks soaking wet. There we go. Now I have some more room. Okay, we won't count. We won't count the first cast until it actually goes out in the water. You gotta be kidding me. There we go. First cast. Okay, it kind of. I don't know what it does. It's not really walking or anything. Wow. We didn't even get a bite. I'm surprised. Yeah, this thing doesn't have a lot of action. Or I'm just a really bad fisherman that doesn't know how to work lures or cast a reel. It does take in some water like the like the normal frogs do. You gotta squeeze it out every once in a while. All right, this is like cast attempt number five. No backlash, finally. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to use this bait. I'm just not good at fishing, especially top water. Yeah. Oh, 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 we got one right when it hit the water. Yes! Right when it hit the water. Woo! First bass on the spider. Check that out. First bite, got an actual hookup on a bass. Really small bass though, but I'll take it any day. All right, I'll see if we can pick up a nice like two or three pounder next. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm just gonna reel it in pretty fast because it's kind of wanting to sink a little bit. I'll try reeling it in really fast, see if that gets some more bites. That action, reeling it in, oh, there he is! Ha, oh, he came off! I was gonna say, reeling it in faster, I think that's that might be how you're supposed to do it because I see its legs like bouncing across the top of the water and it looks really natural like an actual spider and then we got to bite the first cast trying that so i think that's how you're supposed to work it not like trying to walk it like a frog or something this the only thing i don't like about this so far is right when it hits the water it just likes to dive for about like five feet and then it comes back up to the top and you can actually work it good but other than that i think it's a pretty good lure it looks really natural crawling across the water like a spider does Whoa, gosh, man, just had a blow up on it and it didn't hook up. Oh, there he is. Nope. He blew up on it twice and he didn't get it. Oh, 
Ah, saw fish swimming towards it. Little guy, but I think he could have still got it. I don't know, man. The fish are just like not active today. And I've heard this was supposed to be like the, like a really good time of the year for topwater bites. Oh my goodness. I see two monster bass right here. Come on, bite it, eat it, eat it. Come on, come on. No, he's following it. That's a solid three pounder, I think. If I could just get one big bass on this lure, I'd be happy. They're just not going after it. They're like, like I watch them see my lure and they just sit there and stare at it. Another thing I don't really like about this lure is you have to hold your rod up tip up so high to be able to make the, the spider like go like this on top of the water. So the, so all the legs on the sides just like hit bounce off the top of the water. If you do really long casts like that, you, it's not high. You can't get the rod tip high enough to be able to do it. And it just kind of, it's kind of just sitting a half inch underwater and with no action until like right here. Now it's up high enough. I mean, that's obviously going to affect the, how many fish you catch. Man, I need to get a new rod. I need a new reel. Look at that big old crack right there, right in the push button thingy, whatever that's called. Okay, I'm about ready to quit, give up on this pond. There's just nothing hitting this. Last cast and I'm out of here. We won't count that one because it was a backlash again. Okay, here's the last cast and I'm out of here. And, and, and we got nothing. Yeah, we got him. Oh, okay. I thought he came off. Woohoo! Yes. That's bass number two, I believe, on the spider. Check him out. Man, this this lure keeps flipping upside down. When it, like if it hits the water upside down, it likes to stay there. The fish are looking at it. This pond seems to be a little bit better today than the other pond. All right guys, so I've been using this spider lure for a while today and I've only got three bass off of it. I don't know if it's just, they're just the bass aren't biting on top water today or what, but this lure wasn't too bad. I guess if you want a top water lure, just go out and buy a frog for like half the price. This thing was like nine bucks at Walmart. I mean, I didn't really like, it wasn't that bad, but I didn't really like this because like over half the time I casted it, it would land upside down. And there wasn't just really that much action on it. And it also dived a lot, like right when I started reeling it in. But it, did, it does look like a real spider though. The action on it was pretty good. Like the legs would go across the water. And the, all the legs held up pretty good with the bass I caught. It was pretty good hookup ratio too. A lot better than like I have with frogs, but that could just be the frog. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed watching the video, make sure to hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.